Oye, mi gente, yo soy boricua, para que tú lo sepas. Hey, let's go. Hola, ¿qué tal, mi gente? Super excited to be able to finally come back and bring you a video. I'll explain the reason why we didn't drop a Field Pasión Friday video uh, last week. Pero más que todo, mi nombre, my name is Noan El Boricua. And I'm super excited, como siempre, like we always love to be able to share with each and every one of you. This podcast, this video is always around cultura, faith, y conexiones. This is Field Pasión Friday. And one of the reasons why we didn't have a video last week is because one of them is because our son Noah actually graduated from high school. So a big old shout out to my son. And he will be going to Cal State Dominguez Hills or Cal State University of Dominguez Hills here in Southern California in the fall of 2022. So we're really excited for your new journey, son. We hope you enjoy it as now you're becoming this young adult and really being able to venture and get to know who you are. And it was a great time. We had family, we had friends that joined us. And it's one of those things that as a parent, sometimes you just want to live in the moment. And when you live in the moment, sometimes you forget to post some things. Now, I did bombard my Instagram with a ton of photos just to celebrate the day of our son. But overall, it was just a really good week. We enjoyed so many th different things. We got to hang out. We got to go and eat and eat and eat, which now it's time to do some workouts. But a uh, story for another day. But more than anything, it's just really cool to be able to uh, have our old, uh, both of our sons now out of high school. They're both college, uh, not college. They're both high school graduates. Our oldest son is a college graduate from Portland State University. And we hope, uh, depending what God says for our youngest son, that no matter what he does, he's gonna be uh, excellent and he's just gonna excel in, in the path that he chooses. And I think for us as a, a, as a family that identifies as a Spanish speaking or a Latino fa family is, we're, we're proud to be you know a brown family that really has instilled uh, a lot of uh, disciplines and one of them being education and I know that you know we may have the, the differences and I agree an education will not always uh, guarantee success in life and work but it is a discipline that is a lot of times undervalued and uh, again I don't want to get into it because unfortunately the school systems can you know have so overpriced for all this stuff but at the end of the day wherever you're going to get an education to look into things of that nature I think it's a really great thing I've done it for myself uh, but I know people that have it and they've thrived and they've excelled and that's amazing as well so son we're really excited for you another thing about like cultura when I think about family within cultura is a uh, couple days ago at the time of this video new york city nueva york uh celebramos you know uh well the puerto rican uh festival the parade uh 65th annual one and, and it was huge oh yeah la bandera más linda todo el mundo I, it, it was just an amazing thing to be able to look at videos um i still don't know again the time of this video if bad bunny had an actual appearance there but it did look like him so in my opinion i really do think it was bad bunny uh just showing his pride for the island for the flag for the people for the culture so it really cool to be able to just see so many different people come out from all walks of life not just puerto Ricano, pero también de toda toda familia todo latino america all of our friends all everyone has just come together uh, to be able to celebrate and i never usually do this but if you work at, at nike uh, i hope you can join us at whq uh, you should see an invite that was put out there uh, we're actually celebrating a Puerto Rican uh, event. We're going to be celebrating La Cultura Boricua. We're going to be celebrating La Celebración de Puerto Rico, uh, you know, a festival, you know, on the 23rd. I'm just excited because uh, I will be actually moderating a conversation with a sp two special guests. I'm not going to disclose them just because this is a video for everyone to see. But I'm really excited for the opportunity to be honored one to be able to represent mi familia, to be able to represent uh, our Nike familia y más que todo, todos los boricos uh, that work at Nike. So if uh, you want more details, hit me up, message me, and uh, I hope you're in Beaverton, you can join us. Another thing I wanted to share uh, was just something for when it comes from our faith. I'm really grateful because our pastor, he had a situation with his family. Uh, thankfully, our pastor is already back home. His daughter is recovering. And one of the things that we had planned was that uh, on June 12th, 
we were supposed to have baptisms here at our church, our local church. And one of the things that I realized was that he wasn't going to be able to make it uh, to come back in time. Uh, our pastor, Pastor Heraldez, I really appreciate you because you instilled in me to be able to have the honor, the privilege to be able to baptize uh, the people that decided to publicly their, their faith, uh, display their faith and declaration of their love for Jesus. And again, uh, you know, where I, I'm all over the place, ladies and gentlemen. But one of the things that I do believe is that my foundation is my faith. And I was honored and privileged to be able to baptize. And for those that don't know, baptism is this metaphor, this public display where they have already accepted uh, Jesus. Now it is like an act of like showing their old self and then to come up of the waters uh, to be uh, this new life uh, in this relationship with God. And that was something that I had a chance to do. And it was very humbling. I was really super nervous, but um, I'm grateful for our seminary school. I'm grateful for all the things that I've done in my educational uh, practices, as well as just locally here at the church and especially our pastor walking me through that. Um, honored that our deacons allowed me uh, and supported me. And again, at the end of the day, we're here to serve our community. And for me, that was a big honor. So I'm really grateful. Shout out to all of our students that uh, took that step of faith. And the last thing is conexiones, is just understanding the importance of staying connected. Um, special shout out to a good friend of mine, Christopher Duncan and his family, his lovely wife Yvette and all their great kids. Uh, we had a chance for them. They were just visiting. They were here in town for some family business and they actually uh, reached out and they came through and let me tell you why the power of that connection and networking is so powerful because you know as well as I know that when you've seen someone that you haven't seen in a while you kind of pick up where you left off and it's like if you just hadn't seen him yesterday and I'm so grateful for Chris because it was so good to feel just his embrace dude this guy gets some of the best hugs out there if I, I think if there was a competition I think Chris you, you you'd be the winner you just get some amazing hugs and I think a lot of times we need that. I needed that hug. And we were just really grateful to be able to see uh, so many different people. Um, I'm super honored. It, David, uh, another childhood friend joined us and he's married. They had their little boy. Uh, we got to finally meet him. You know, COVID just, you know, now all this stuff that we get a chance and their baby's so big. And it's just really cool to be able to see the importance of that. So um, that's kind of a nutshell of what's been going on. I really don't have any learnings. Uh, usually I want to be able to fuel your passion, but maybe I did. Maybe I feel that you should be able to embrace the culture of where your family is from, celebrate it, be authentically, genuinely you and your family, uh, and constantly understand the importance to be able to serve in a moment of time. And that's why, as the saying says, uh, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And I think the last thing is that relationships do matter. And my hope is that we do that. A lot of things are coming up. We have Father's Day. Shout out to all the dads out there uh, that are trying their best. Keyword, trying their best. And some fathers out there have been doing amazing things. Can you please celebrate a father this weekend? Just give them a shout out, send them a text, make a phone call, or maybe post something that they may post. But let's give a shout out to those dads out there that have tried their best, that have created a legacy, sacrificed so much, and that's something that's just really big. But then also on Monday, and I'm gonna talk about this next video, we get to celebrate Freedom Day for all of our black brothers and sisters. Uh, Juneteenth will be here, and we're excited because this is something very important in our history in America, and we get to celebrate that now. Uh, thanks to the current administration that has now recognized this day. And it's something we've already recognized. All of our black brothers and sisters have always recognized Freedom Day. I'm grateful for my family that uh, is within that as well. And it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna speak to that a little bit later and how that correlates and ties all people of all colors together and understanding what that freedom looks like and where we're headed with it. So, uh, oye, una gran bendición, un gran abrazo. Uh, que siguen pa'lante. Toda mi gente ahí de Puerto Rico y todo aquí en the mainland. Uh, you know, LA Rican, as you already can see, right? But more importantly, a uh, shout out to all the poppies, all the dads out there. Uh, I appreciate all of you men out there and those that have been examples for me to be the best husband and father that I can be to my family. And um, yeah, man, we're going to continue riding this freedom and understanding the responsibility that it takes. But more importantly, remember to ground yourself in God 
and know that God is with you who can be against you. Como siempre, mi gente, check out fuelpasionpodcast.com. And, uh, oye, como dice mi abuelita, que Dios te bendiga.